Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Slope Podcast. You know what it is. It's a weekly podcast on the Sokka Michi Series Auto Groups. Uh, Nogi Zaka 46, Sakura Zaka 46, Hinata Zaka 46, and Yoshimoto Zaka 46. It's season three, episode three. And I'm one of your hosts. I'm Jimmy, a.k.a. Slow Talk. And I'm joined, as always, by my friends and my fellow hosts. You have Boy, Boy Kun, and Josh, Mr. Josh Box. Yo. How's it going, fellas? What up? It's going it's well. Going okay. Nothing new. It, it's kind of cold today. It's mm. super windy where I am. Like, it's oh yeah, yeah, really yes. windy where I am. Like, yeah. I think the last time it was this windy was like years ago. But years ago, like, I had a fence in the backyard. You know how fence off properties and everything. Like, it just knocked all those fences down, and it's like Damn. that level today. So if my power goes out or anything, then it's that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, well, it was like it's been like super warm for me the past few days. Yeah, and then suddenly today, right, it was just like super cold and windy. Mm-hmm. Ooh, you you love to see that climate change, boys. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Times have changed. Um, so, yeah, uh, I start classes next week. I think you start already, right, Josh? I start. Yes. I have to do times. finish my homework after the podcast. <laughs> Ooh. Right. I start so. the week after next. <laughs> oh, really? Hmm. That's Interesting. Uh, are, are you, mm-hmm. Jimmy, are you still like quarter system where you're going? No, no. It's uh, semesters. Your semester too, right, boy? Yeah. Like right when I started, when I transferred over, that's when they also switched Two semesters. Mm. I was like, oh, I was looking for you know quarter system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shorter. Everything's all more fast. compact. Yeah. Uh, but I guess not enough people were uh, actually passing their classes. Not really. Mm. You know, they needed it's, more it's time. Because uh, you graduate or I don't know, but like you, you finish the school year earlier on semester, right? Because it's only two terms instead of three. Yeah. Um, and then so I guess it makes you more. Like the quarter system was making some people less competitive during hiring seasons, because like mm. people would finish and graduate sooner on the the semester, uh-huh. and then whereas oh. like people on the quarter system oh, would graduate okay. like a month or two late or a month or six weeks later, and then you know have to like try to. So like the the semester people were getting the jump. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Right. I see. Interesting. Okay. At least I think that was like one of the big. Uh, reasons my school changed from quarters to semester i had hmm. like two years on quarter and then we, we moved to semester so that was really weird so which one do you prefer go- going through both of them uh i actually like quarters better hmm. um so here's the thing it's like a it's almost like high risk high reward you know what i mean yeah. like yeah it's easier for me because it's like oh dude it's only like what like 10 weeks right something like that like it's really, really fast, right? Or 12 weeks or something. It's, I think it's 12 weeks. And then so it's just like, it's really, really fast. So you only have to like stick with it for so long, right? Yeah, so yeah, you, exactly. You're always in this mindset of like, all right, dude, it's only like this many weeks left. Gotta stay on top. Gotta stay on top. And if you're able to do that, it's great. But you can never fall off. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, like other classes, like, oh, dude, if I, if I botch this exam, oh, it's okay, dude. I can make it up with other ones, dude. I feel like on quarters, the second you you mess up, it's like, gg bro oh, okay. it's like it's like very it's hard to catch back it's like very hard to catch up in my opinion mm-hmm. but then um converse like and then yeah with semesters i it's nice but then for me i'm one of those people that like i i will get too lax mm. you know what i mean because it's like or maybe it's because i went from quarters to semesters but it's like like oh man i got plenty of time dude it's like freaking oh okay yeah, yeah. you know like mm-hmm. and then so like it's it's hard for me to get into the zone dude Mm-hmm. I think I feel the same way. Um, you know, like in the semester system, there's like those winter, summer in between, like yeah, really short ones. Yeah, sessions or whatever. Yeah. I feel like I, I did better in those classes because mm-hmm. it's like, it's just every, right? You can just go and do everything. Mm-hmm. And there's just no like. And then just finish it. Yeah, yeah. And then, so like, I feel like I'm more concentrated in, in shorter yeah. classes. Yeah, yeah. But I think I'm the same way. But I understand yeah. that people. If, if they're failing because it's too fast for them, then, then yeah. Yeah, and some people are, you know, working too. Yeah. Like we are. All of us are working like full time. Yeah, so. Boys, like almost full time for some days. Mm-hmm. So, uh, 
Good, good luck, everybody. The school mm-hmm. season. Woohoo. Mm-hmm. If you have I, stats, I like- you can join us for the stats study room <laughs> on Discord. <laughs> We're taking stats. We've made a new channel in the Discord. <laughs> Maybe we can help each other out, you know? Yes. <laughs> I, I we'll feel see. like, I don't know, like, as I've, I've grown up, it's like something you always know. Like, there's different, there's different learning styles or different people excel in different ways. I just wish school in general was more accommodating to that. Mm. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, but I, I get that. That's that. Uh, I, I don't really. It's a nice idea, but I don't have really any way of like. Yeah, well, that's why some professors that, like, are good and some professors are bad, right? Because like some mm-hmm. accommodate for that and some are just like, mm-hmm. just do what what the online thing says and then I'll grade it, mm-hmm. and that's it. Oh yeah. Because like, like I don't know. For example, I thought I would be great at at like working from home and things like that way back when you know i like oh it, no i i could totally yeah like i i'm more productive at home and i got my own stuff and blah blah blah, blah. not true not I true am at terrib- all. <laughs> i am terrible and like I, I learned this when i was in college too it's just because like uh what is it i pretty much would be at school until the evening it's like when we're doing the podcast when i was up in la i pretty much come home from school right before we did the podcast because mm. yeah, yeah. And it's not like I have classes that long, but I would just stay up there. You know, I would go to, go to my classes, eat food, uh, do my homework and then go to the gym up there before all before I went back home. Because like I knew the second I got home, I wouldn't want to do shit. Yes. You know what I, mean? I was the same during, during high school. Like I would like do all the classwork, like ace all the tests, like do everything like in school, like all good. But then the time I got home, I was just like, I'll do it later. Oh, Yes, I didn't do it. <laughs> Stuff like that. Yep. Uh, uh, we're all the same. Look at us. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, uh, when when things were still open, I just go to like cafe or, or mm-hmm. Starbucks. Because if I just try to do it at home, I'd like be playing games instead or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I wouldn't yeah. be doing the work. So my dog came in. <laughs> Here, I haven't seen or I haven't shown the big Doge. Oh, he's dragging me away. Come here. <laughs> Oh, he's that big. Huh? Never mind. Never mind. Oh. He doesn't oh, want yeah, to be on camera. We got we to got, we got do like a Spice, dog come here. podcast okay, at we'll some point. Away. Because uh, you guys remember Bruno, right? My dog. Like a, you know, oh, yeah. Like a few months back, I would put him like right, right up here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He is the biggest out of my three dogs now. Oh, shit. Oh, really? <laughs> what happened? He's just, bu- he's just bullying the other two down. Oh, no. <laughs> He's like, oh, I used to have to fear you guys. Now, now the tables have turned, dude. How the I am turn the, tables? I am the master of this house, dude. Mm. He's a, he's <laughs> just the me of the dogs, dude. Like you know, I was I was the youngest one. I was the little one. My older sibling used to used to bully me when I was little, and then I, I had my growth spurt. And I'm like, sit in your place, sibling. You know, <laughs> that's that's my dog now, dude. Ooh. Maybe you can show us next time. Hey guys, here he is. Here he is. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is Bruno. Yeah, uh, I, 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 it's hard for me to imagine he used to just chill on my desk. You know? Right. Mm-hmm. These doggos, dude. Yeah. But, um, Anyways, uh, that's enough catching up, huh? Let's, yes. let's should, should we get to the show? We've got so much to talk about today. So, so much. much. I'm, I'm scrolling. So, look, so look at how much I'm scrolling. That's how much news we have. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, we, we got the shilling corner, huh? To start it back oh, off. Yeah, we back. <clears throat> shilling corner once again. It's Nogizaka. Nogizaka has a uh, new Cup Star commercial series. Mm-hmm. Um, the first episode is on uh, YouTube, which centers uh, Yodo Chan. Yodo Ooh. Yuki. Young, young Yodo. Young Yodo. Um, and it's like a mystery type deal. Um, she has cup star. She like made some noodles. She set it aside. She's waiting for it uh, while she does the photo shoot. But then when she gets back to her dressing room, the cup star is gone. And she's like, yo, what the heck? It's just like the little rabbit thingy. Mm. And then, like, the other members are accused. She, like, brings them all together and, like, who ate my damn cup star? So. Yeah, dude. 
Time for what a mystery. Sherlock Yodo, dude. Yeah. Yodo Holmes and uh, Aya Mateson, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, so right. we'll, who do you, we'll who do you guys think did it? It's it's gonna be the twist, or it's gonna be Tsutsui Ayame all oh, along. I was say oh, that. Oh, she looks no. so clueless. Look at her. Mm-hmm. And the other members are like, "What is she on, dude?" <laughs> what if it was Yoro the whole time? Ooh. No, <laughs> what? <laughs> she was doing the photo shoot, Josh. <laughs> they just ate her own and, and forgot, forgot about it. it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was it was so yeah, good. I, I ate aside. it and I forgot I ate it. And I forgot. Oh wait. <laughs> We'll see. That's only the first episode. Um, this reminds me of Crunky. You know, there was a mystery. Oh, in oh, I was yeah, thinking yeah. that too. I was thinking that too, dude. Yeah. Um, you guys notice that that anamorphic lens flare? <laughs> oh, here we go again. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Looks looks pretty nice, right? Look at that. You look at the bokeh. You can see it's a little it bit oval shape instead of circular. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wide. Yeah. Mm, very nice. Uh-huh. Um, we'll see what happens. I bet you it's Tsutsui Ayame. And not the four she is accusing. But we'll got see. It, got it. All right, if, if he had to choose of the four, who would you, who would you guys oh, uh, suspect? So it's Ik- Ikta, Yamashita, Asuka, or Ume. I feel like the commercial might go for Asuka just because she's a popular one. But I'm going to go for mm. Ikuta because of bias. I'm gonna say it's it's Ume on her cheat day or something. Like, damn, I didn't Ooh. eat today. Mm. It's cheat day anyway. Oh shit, Cub Star, word. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna yeah. say it's Yamashita, dude. I feel like mm. she's always up to something. You know true, I mean? true. Uh-huh. Ooh, always up to no good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's the new series, Cup Star, and very yeah, uh, I... very Japanese commercial fashion. It's gonna be like a story or a series type deal mm. so we shall see or yeah it's gonna be all of them it's gonna be like a murder on the orient express spoilers Ooh. <laughs> if, if you haven't seen that that movie or read the book it was all of them anyway let's go to the current events usually we'll start with yoshimoto zaka uh, um but there are no news. All right, so let's just get to the Hinata Zaka 46 news, huh? All right. Ah, <clears throat> yes. Um, Hinata Zaka, uh, no, no, no news. Oh. Oh, that's fine. All right. Uh, how, how about some Sakura Zaka news? Oh, okay. yes. All right. Here we go. Sakura yeah. Zaka sometimes, 46. Sometimes it happens, dude. Back in yeah. the day, it was just the two, dude. Back in the day, it was just yeah, the two. Yeah, so we're like back to the old format now. Mm-hmm. Um, there are... Or is there no news for them either? Oh, sorry. Oh. We're, we're. Um, All right, we're so predating, have... predating the first episode. Just no Hizaka. <laughs> yeah, just only one left. It's no Hizaka 46. Always has news. They Ooh. always mm, consistent. have something that we talk about on almost every episode. Or, or maybe I just try harder to look for Nogi news because I like them the most. <laughs> what? You mean there's no, no, no they actually Zaka have bias? What? Stuff. Yeah, they, 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 they actually released uh, actually a lot of stuff, right? In, in, compared to like normal, right? They released two yeah. new music videos. Right? At the same time. Two new videos for their upcoming 26th single, which will be released next week. At the yeah. time of this like stream recording. Yeah, the twenty seventh. Um, um well let's talk about the this one first. It's on Spotify. Uh they already drew it up on there, the single. Yeah, yes. yeah. The um, it's like the uh special edition, right? So you actually have all the, the tracks. All the tracks mm-hmm. and no uh instrumental or off vocal versions. Mm-hmm. Um but you know. Since we're out here in America, can't listen to it yet. It's grayed out. Mm. But, you know, all seven tracks are there. Um, Mm -hmm. So maybe next week or maybe later tonight or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because the the actual 
physical sing like CDs come out next week, right? Yeah, the twenty seventh. Yep. So I just gotta pre-game it real quick. Uh, That's right, what we like build. That. Am I right? Oh, uh, <laughs> don't remind me, Josh. <laughs> I had I had erased that from my mind. You know, I was just gonna let the It's gonna the, be erased from your bank account too. Yeah, like I was just gonna let it go. It's gonna be like, oh shit, there it is. Just gonna pay it off right then and there. But now. Mm-hmm. Josh. <sighs> I'm still there's there's still like a, a small chance. Yes, yes. I'm like keeping it there, but at the same time I'm like <sighs> small chance. I, I guess this was this isn't really news, but supposedly a, a fan from Taiwan or something like that inquired uh, to Nogi about the uh, meet and greets, the online meet and greets, and they're like, oh. And he asked, like, if, if that was going to be available for overseas fans. And he got a reply or something like that. They said, we're still figuring shit out about privacy stuff. Because, mm. um, you and know, I read, like, the EU has, like, some privacy yeah, law that's, like, showing mm, identification. Yeah, EU privacy stuff, I think, mostly is what, uh, what is, what yeah, the GDPR into, or mm. something like that. Because you know you're you're showing them your passport, right? So that's like, yeah. You know you don't think I, of it when when you're doing it as a fan. Like, oh hell yeah, dude! I just want to see my idol. But then you know it's like because like I think on their side they're they're gonna need to have some kind of database, right? Because mm-hmm. or I don't know. I I'm just I don't know. I I get that there's a lot of nuances to this discussion that like you know we're just not privy to, right? Like that that's just yeah. the way it is. But like. I don't know. For me, I'm like, so what about the other groups that just don't really seem yeah. to care? You know, like, well, not, like um, we talk about Nanabu no Ni Juni, right? They're also under Sony. Were they doing ID checks? They were, right? No, yeah, they were, but they weren't uh, enforcing like the no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For just for uh, forty eight group stuff, like you know, AKB mm-hmm. and NMB and stuff. They they just don't do ID checks at all, right? They just yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you have a ticket, come through, right? Yeah, um, yeah. It, it it seems it's like a fortune music and maybe because you know they're all under Sony, right? Yeah. Mm. So maybe like a Sony thing, right? That they they get a. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, the, but then yeah, how do you explain like yeah, Nanabu no need you need then, which still right. let people in, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and like I I get like that. There's probably something in this discussion, or maybe maybe I'm just outing. Nanabu no Nijo Ni, now all their foreign fans are like, dude, shut up, shut up, dude. we're flying uh, under radar, shut up. So, uh, uh, I, I think, you know. who was that, Danny? Danny, you in the chat, you saw Nanabu no Nijo Ni, right? And, mm-hmm. like, I think uh, they they were not enforcing the ID checks. And oh, he also said that to... he sent an email. He sent two emails, and they responded to the second one, and they said, keep waiting for an answer. Okay, see, yeah. Ah, it's so it. Nanabu they don't They don't do ID, ID yeah. checks. Mm. So, well, there you go. So, I guess that's that's the, the the workaround. Just don't check them. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Um, well, we'll see what happens. You know, there's mm. that little chance. Maybe Nogi's gonna be like, oh, "Yeah, we cool. We're, like, We're gonna slide like, it. You know? Oh, let's mm. go. <laughs> we have a whole Billy Billy mm-hmm. account. TikTok, Facebook is in English. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If it's any of the Sakamichi groups, I feel like Nogi's the one who. He's, he's trying to reach out the most internationally. So, but I mean, even he and Atazaka did something recently, right? With their whole concert and like exclusively. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So, well, we'll we'll have to see. I yeah. I'd say maybe be cautiously optimistic. You yeah, know? yeah. Like, uh, don't maybe not expect the worst, but don't get your hopes up either. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like 20, 20, 10, 15 percent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Still a little. Anyway. Uh, I think it's funny that like all these other idol groups are like, welcome international yes. fans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look at this. Yeah, this look at this doing international their thing. Thank you, shine. international person. Yeah. You know, like uh, STU just announced that their whole, because they're releasing a new single. And so like, mm-hmm. things are ramping up for promotions and all these events. And they're like, oh yeah, international fans, please go here, blah, blah, blah. And NMB was on the news and shit like that. And they're like, oh yeah, Nagi Chan. Be like, I got a fan from Hong Kong. What's good, yeah. fan? <laughs> Look at this. Like, 
not a good look for the uh-huh. other. It's like it's like it's be like ah oh, shit. <laughs> no, we did get we did get a message from one of the members. Yeah, yeah. It was a uh, Onoma Akiho, who actually like put a video up speaking well, speaking English on Mobame, right? Yeah, in Mobame, mm-hmm. and then saying uh, basically saying sorry for all the people who bought a ticket and couldn't attend. Um. Yeah, it's basically kind of like sort of an apology or like I feel for you kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And then, Yo, uh, why, why did, why is the member offering more clarity than the fucking fortune music? Yes, you know? this is where I put on my my tinfoil hat. Are you guys ready? Oh, Are you guys ready, ready for this? Right. So, staff or either company didn't publicly say anything. None of the other members said anything at all. Like not even the captain or the vice captain, but except. Onuma, who didn't sell out that much, is the one that said something. So is this management trying to slide something under and be like, oh look, someone says something, but it isn't, you know, someone that gets a lot of attention. There we go, I'm done. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> if anything, it should have been like Kosaka Marino or, or mm. Endo Hikari, right? Because they sold the least. <laughs> um, Onuma's just cool like that, Josh. Damn. No, no, yeah, no, I agree, I agree, I agree. That was my tinfoil yeah. hat. That's why I put on the tinfoil hat. Yeah, yeah. You should does, just does, actually does make a tinfoil hat for next time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That, that, that's like a wild theory that like randomly came across my mind. I was like, that's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. um, yeah, so uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe, you know, hopefully they figure it out and stuff like that. So we'll see. Anyway, mm-hmm. let's get back to the Nogi stuff. All right. Here for they released two new music videos, uh, the under music video, and wait, is it the under? Under? Yeah, probably. It is the under, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's under. Yeah. Yes. The under members music video, and then the fourth gen music video. So let's let's check out the under one first because that's how I have it on the dock. Um, I assume everyone's watched this already, so we don't need to like watch it together, right? Yes. Have you watched it, Jimmy? Uh, the under one, yeah, but I haven't watched the uh, oh. fourth gen one. Okay. Okay. So, so the under one, Kuchi, one first, yeah, yeah okay. Kuchi Hodo Nimonai Kiss. I think we listened to the preview or a performance mm, maybe. from the under live a couple weeks back. It'd have to be, yeah. Uh... Um, but yeah, now there is a whole Wes Anderson style music video. Full on with, you know, symmetry and whip pans and shit like that. If you've seen a Wes Anderson, so, Anderson movie. It's so yellow. Like every <laughs> Wes Anderson <Yeah>. movie. <laughs> At least it's not pee yellow like the SKE video. Oh, no, no. God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, obviously they're trying to do the Wes Anderson thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. As that whole color grading and like that mm-hmm. weird quirkiness of... Mm-hmm. So for someone who, quirky, isn't, yeah. who isn't familiar and with the Wes Anderson style movies, how would you... How would you say this emulated it? Just in the color, or uh, the, what other ways? the color, the camera movements, like the shots, mm. uh, yeah, the transition, the music, um, like the um, not the not the song itself, but like the the music before the actual song starts, um, mm-hmm. uh, and and like it's the it's definitely the vibe, the dialogue. right? It's it's, yeah, it's the whole vibe. It's all of that culmin- culminating to create a very specific vibe, right? Like. Uh, like, we we're, were talking about like Moonrise Kingdom and the Royal Tenenbaums and right like all, yeah, all of I those think films right this video in the particular the Dark Healing Limited yeah right. takes a lot from Moonrise Kingdom right cuz Moonrise Kingdom is about like these two kids who run away together mm-hmm. uh, and have like an adventure and then like all the adults are like oh shit the kids are missing let's go find them and mm-hmm. shit like that and this is very like uh like the plot i guess of this music video is very mm-hmm. similar He's like, Ki-chan's gone, right? She writes a letter to the family. She runs away with uh, Ayane, who's the maid, and stuff like that. Mm. So, And then they, they get people to to look for them, right? These detectives. Mm. Yeah, it's it's all very uh, that style, you know? Even with the text and their name, this person mm, yes. is that person. Right? The outfits, you know? <laughs> it's outfits, like very, yeah. everyone's dressed very eccentrically. Mm-hmm. And there's obvious references, right? Like, I think the director of the music mm. video is definitely, like, a fan or is inspired by Wes Anderson. Because yeah. um, mm. if you look at uh, 
Yamazaki Rena's outfit. She has like the orange beanie that's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Life Aquatic of Steve Zissou. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, stuff like that. Yeah, with the suit. And it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if, if you if you just Googled Moonrise Kingdom and clicked images, mm. like all like that's the vibe. And yeah, the, this music video carries a lot of it, you know? Like, yes. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's really, I, you know, I no, enjoy it's West Anderson movies. It yeah, has like a charm to it, right? It's mm -hmm. definitely very like stylistic compared mm -hmm. to, you know, your regular movies. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's cute, man. And seeing mm -hmm. Nogi do like a similar thing. Yeah, it's yes, pretty interesting yes. to see that they're following like a director's kind of like motif mm -hmm. instead of like going over and like doing something that they usually do. Like this is a really nice twist. That yes. I don't think any of us Agreed. expected. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't expecting uh, anything like this, right? Uh -huh. I clicked the link for the video and I watched mm -hmm. it. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I'm not a big a fan of just the yellow grading, but that's just me in general with Wes Anderson yeah. films too. So it's nothing, <laughs> it's no dig. But a, the, the yellowness aside, I think everyone looks really good mm -hmm. This uh this music video. You can yeah. tell they use a uh, specific lens for this too. It's not like any mm -hmm. other lens. It looks like an old, like, like film like lens. The, yeah, yeah. Gotta get that vintage look, dude. If you yeah, want yeah, that, yeah. The, yeah. If you want the Wes Anderson quirk, you know. Boy, is mm -hmm. Jimmy breaking up for you in the audio? Hello? Hello? Uh, like, was he a second ago? Maybe like a little bit, but. Okay, yeah, maybe, it was, it maybe I was just like too constant. far away from my, my mic. Mm -hmm. I'll sit a little bit closer. Um, yeah, I, I agree with Jimmy. It's a little too yellow. Mm -hmm. If you look at Wes Anderson like, movies, it's it's warm, but it's not like yellow, yellow. Mm, yeah. Uh, it has to be like it's more like photo orange. Of warm, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like some of the outdoor shots, I think, is like the most. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think probably maybe they were like working with uh, like difficult lighting situations and so yeah. they just made do and it just kind of looked a little too yellow. Yeah, just a little. The inside shots, not too bad. But the yeah. outside ones are just a little. Like especially yellow. when you look at the clouds, it's like the clouds are a little off. Like the sky mm -hmm. versus the clouds. Mm -hmm. That might like emphasize it even more. Mm -hmm. But uh, overall, I like the, the music video. You know, there's a story, right? And it's mm -hmm. like, oh, it's love and stuff, but they don't want them to be together or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then Tama Chan sold them out, dude. She found them. <laughs> <laughs> Ball Chan, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Maybe she's jealous, right? There's like the, mm. the scene where they're all playing cards. Yeah, yeah. It's um, a little triangle. It's the three of them. Dude. Yeah, a little triangle going on. But then in the end, it's like, no, hey, let's just dance. <laughs> It's all good, everybody. <laughs> it's the only. Let me read the, uh, the note from the beginning. It says, "Dear mom and dad, I've eloped with Ayane from the help. Don't look at me. Thanks for everything. Don't look at me. Hugs and kisses, Hinako. Don't look for me. Mm. See, see wrote, the letter is me. straight out of Moonrise Kingdom. Right. Mm. Um, I like how C Christie's in the back and she's like, "No, my daughter." <laughs> 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 like faints. <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, enjoyable. It's nice. Recommended. Yeah, he's nice. Let's talk about the song, or give it, or we're giving ratings now, right? Mm. About the song. What would you rate mm. the song? Uh, I give it a, a eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Oh, it's uh, it's got, it's got like I don't know, just like a very wispy nogi vibe. I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's nice to have a, a song with a melody that I can instantly remember. Mm, that's uh, true. I feel like yeah, I the feel like that's been my, my issue with a lot of their songs lately. It's just like after I I stop listening to it, I can't remember it anymore. You know, this one it, it's like not a dig at those songs, but like this one is kind of simple in a nice way. Way where you know it's just like you know much later I can still like da 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 you know. Mm. Definitely, yeah, it gets in your head. It's a, it's a good, cute, idol pop song. Yeah. I think I'll give it a seven. Oh, I'll give it a no point five. So I guess I'll go for a seven. 
Ooh. Hey, there you go. Dude, I also was thinking 7.5. That's why I give it an 8. I was thinking 6.5. But... Mm. Oh, <laughs> all right. It's <laughs> good. You guys went up. Went up. All right. Not bad. You got to round um, up. Okay, let's talk about the Wes Anderson directed music video. <laughs> <Start off. laughs> just kidding. It's not. It just It's just taking stylistic mm. cues and oh, okay. inspiration and shit. Mm. I'm, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Ooh. Mm. It's it's uh if, if some of the the really weird yellows were better, it would score up higher. Um I I just like it anytime they have a concept and they run with it. Um mm-hmm. I think aside from like yeah that some of the errors you talked about earlier, like they 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 delivered on that very well. Like you have like some of the like one of the shots I think where it's like uh I can't remember who, who it is, but someone's coming down the stairs and it's got that like, you know, the, the building's symmet- natural symmetry oh, kind yeah, of yeah. creating like some frames. I'm like, ah, oh, that's my boy right there, dude. That's, the that's- symmetry is definitely mm-hmm. one of the biggest things. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. I'm going to give this an eight. Mm. Uh, you know, just like Jimmy, the, the yellow is a little much in, in some of the shots. Um, it's supposed to be like pastel, right? That's the color. That's, that's the color palette. Um, but they made, like, they 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 missed out on the purple outfits from Grand Budapest Hotel. Oh, Zach's color is purple. That's my favorite Wes Anderson movie. They missed out on it, probably mm. because the plot of this video is not like the same. Like the same, I guess. Mm-hmm. I guess the only reference to Grand Budapest Hotel is like at the end where they're on like that rail car thingy, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's got that weird like. Yeah, right. yeah, I remember that shot from the movie. Um, but yeah, I will give it an eight. Oh. Missed out on the purple outfits. Ugh. Yeah, dude, Ugh. could have had them in the the purple bellhop uniform, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, I'll give this one an eight as well. Um, I enjoy High definitely ranks. enjoy the style that they're going for and everything. It does definitely feel like an homage. Um, and I think yeah, they pretty much just, yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it feels it's like, not like a rip off, right? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. more of like a yeah, because they're yeah. not trying to pass it off like it's their own original creative idea. They're, yeah, they're yeah. clearly referencing this. Like mm-hmm. it's like a yeah. it's like an in joke, right? Like if you if you've seen those films, you'd be if like, you've seen them, ah, oh, that's what they're doing, dude. Ha, sick, and you know. If it's if it's new, like if you didn't know, then it's like a nice music video, right? It's like yes. cute and quirky. See, yeah, I haven't watched so. a Wes Anderson movie, so, <laughs> mm. so that, that, I feel I feel like if I knew a little more, I might have like pushed it up to a nine. Mm. Mm. Should watch Grand Budapest Hotel. It's my favorite. Oof. I haven't seen all of them, but from from what I've seen, that is my favorite. Mm. Anyway, uh, yeah, Kuchi Hodo ni mo nai kiss. It's the music video. They released another one though, another one. Right. Out gonna, of the I'm gonna, blue, I'm gonna mute and uh, like what is it? Turn off my, my, silence myself. You guys, you guys okay. Discuss. Jimmy hasn't uh, he hasn't, hasn't watched, watched it. it, so Josh and I will discuss yes. out of the blue. So we watched. Did we watch it? We we've heard the song before. I think it was performed at like the for radio fourth or? gen live, right? That was oh, free. was it? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're That's right. the one where Kita Gawayuri that. like walks off, right? Uh-huh. Like uh, from and the choreography. Back, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. She's like, oh, whoops. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, yeah, I remember that now. This is the song. It's very uh, style like icy, right? It's like funky disco J-pop thing. Yeah, yeah. got the nice uh, bass in there. Yeah, it's grooving. Nice. You know, like icy was horns. pretty successful, right? It's it's probably yeah. more popular than uh, Shiawase no Hogo Shoku. You know, you got the funky guitars, got the horns. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, it's definitely a feel Jimmy good song. Like, over there is you vibing it, jam. pretty hard. Yeah, uh, as Jimmy, this is all our reactions when we listen to the song. Yeah, uh, but the videos is really cute too. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> it starts with like Hayakawa. They're doing like a TikTok video. Uh-huh. But then the rest of the I feel like that goes on like, a little bit too long. Yeah, like, it, it hangs on this uh-huh. thing, right? She ignores the first pillow. And then the second one hits her in the head. She's like, She's like hey, yo, <laughs> what the hell? Um, and yeah, and then like a, a whole 
pillow fight breaks out that gets uh-huh. incredibly violent. Uh-huh. Ray just over um, here just knocks him out like some sort of anime. Yeah. Just, so it's, it's two, two the rooms, gone. right? Uh, they're in two separate rooms. Uh, the pillow fight breaks out in one and it like spills into the second one. Mm-hmm. Sata throws it, throws it at Ray and breaks to the wall. And it breaks her little puzzle thing. She's like, oh. Mm-hmm. Wiped her, the smile off her face. Um, Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Some hard hits, man. Uh-huh. Uh, I love the slow-mo, dude. Uh-huh. It's like it, it's the fast to slow that makes it like... Yeah, the, the ramping is really nice, right? Uh-huh. Like, called her back. <laughs> I'm gonna get this bitch. <laughs> She's like, yeet! <laughs> Throws uh-huh. the pillow. <laughs> she goes through the wall. I know. Like, damn. <laughs> and like the, the slow-mo turnaround. Mm-hmm. That's pretty nice, too, you know? We got some like shields with blankets and everything. They disappear. Yeah, it's a fun video. Um, yeah, for sure. And and it, and it knows it's like out there and like. Yeah, yeah. It, it's right? like, it, like, it, like it, when they like, run down the arcade, all of a sudden sparks are coming out, and then like it's like, what? How did this happen with pillows? But then it's like kind of like that's the point of the yeah. whole music yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of like slapstick moments, right? I mean, like the wall is destroyed. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I like how Tutu I am is just in the corner like screaming. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some uh, a lot of good moments, you know. Uh huh. And then uh, then at the end, they like are tired because they didn't go to sleep. Oh yeah, because they were like fighting the whole night except for uh-huh. uh, Sakura and Kitagawa, right? Uh-huh. But they're awake they were too, just so chilling. I don't, I don't know why they aren't tired. Well, they were chilling, right? They weren't like yeah, they weren't involved in the pillow fight. Uh-huh. You know, they were just chilling. Like I wonder why the those two chair. Is it, is it because they're like to themselves, kind of quiet members? Uh, maybe hmm. could attribute it to that, but uh, maybe they were just part of the uh, story or whatever of this mm-hmm. music video. You know, mm-hmm. just hanging out. And the rest of them are like, come back here. I uh, wish at the end, like they were still tired when they did the choreography at the end. I wish like those members were still tired, like doing it. <laughs> the the oh, two yeah. members just over there dancing to the hardest. That, I thought that's what was going to happen, but uh, uh, they didn't. Yeah, they just, they just did went regular in, like, choreography. Regular. I, I enjoyed it. Let's see. Wait, it's a uh, six minute video, so, so Jimmy's watching for a while. Too. Yeah, Hayakawa is the uh, center, and she, there's a lot of good Hayakawa shots if you're a fan uh-huh. of hers. Um, I feel like there's, there's a lot of Ray shots as well, if you're like a fan there of hers. There is. Like, just... I, like, for a second, I was like, wait, who's the center again? Yeah, yeah. Um, it obviously like focuses on like a few. Yeah. And there's, there's a lot of Mayutan shots, which I appreciated. Mm. Um, but she's like the front three, you know? Yeah, it's like probably her, Ray, and uh, Sarah, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah. All right, Jimmy, Jimmy. What did you think? <laughs> what did you think? Um, of the music video. I I mean I genuinely laughed, like uh, I wasn't I, I I was like oh cute pillow fight dude, and I, I then I was just not very prepared for like <laughs> the battle, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, the violence. Yeah, I, I, I'd say if there's anything lacking for me, I, I wish there was, uh, like, more of more of the dance shots in the actual video, mm. right? Because that happens after the credits, really, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that might have been the plan, like because there's another shots where they're like in the pajamas. Mm-hmm. I feel like it might have wanted to be included, but they're like. Now let's just make this like the whole fight sequence. Maybe like the mm-hmm. yeah the like the plot I guess of the pillow fight is too good, right? They, yeah. they just mm-hmm. wanted to show that yeah. whole thing and then like, yeah, just throw the credits, you know? They'll yeah. get a they'll get a an idea. Or maybe the that, choreography like, wasn't as strong because if you look, like some mm. of them are like kind of like rushing into place or like squeezing in members. Mm. That makes sense. Um, because like, I feel like me, I don't know, like the okay. It reminds me of uh, this behind the scenes. Thing from an AKB music video, um, they don't actually learn anything until the shoot. 
I don't know if that's still the case, mm. but like I remember oh, watching that and I was like, damn, dude, this is like really last minute type of stuff, you know, where it's yeah, like, like they learned like right it's, before, it's just right, like they're they're lip syncing to a demo track mm-hmm. and somebody mm. is telling them the lyrics off off screen kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So like they're learning it that day. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if it's like the same case here, then maybe they don't have the whole choreography down when they shot this video yet. So that's why um, you know, they didn't really focus mm-hmm. on the choreography. Right. Yeah. Because I was going to say that there's like a big stretch of slow motion mm-hmm. at like a kind of like, I guess, like the turning point in the story. Right. Where. Um, what is it? Like you know they're they're cha- they're 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 running into the arcade, um, that that whole sequence up until when they they where Ray opens up the 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 doors and there's like the stacks of pillows, mm. I feel like that whole part was just really it dragged, and so, I don't know like I was like maybe maybe you could cut some some of that to like give me, some dance shots you know like something, yeah, and then mix in some uh, like some of the. Uh, yeah, the the fight scenes from there, because I I feel like I don't know at, at that point it's like you get the idea right it's like okay they're they're having an all out war dude you know yeah mm-hmm. um, yeah I see what but you that mean. said every everything up until that point I I was really enjoying yeah because there right, is like, a shot in the arcade where like none of the members are on the screen right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just tracking mm-hmm. and it's like oh uh, uh, there's a little bit of a lull right look there, at this arcade. But, <laughs> But you know, when the door uh, opens and there's like the row of pillows, like, oh shit, uh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> you thought they ran yeah, out yeah, of yeah. ammo? No. Yeah. <laughs> the 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 first big uh, big pillow hit, right? When when Sarah, right, or Sarah, uh, Ray's like, what the fuck, guys? Um, yeah. They did they do the high frame rate action thing, you know, where it's just like <laughs> makes it look way faster than it is, but it's just. Like uh, that, that was where I, was, I genuinely laughed because I didn't I didn't see that coming. Yeah, I was yeah. expecting like cute yeah. music video pillow fight, you know? Uh, Sarah throwing impact. a pillow into into the next room, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, and I like the inclusion of the credits just to show mm-hmm. a little bit more from the shoot. Maybe they had a mm-hmm. lot of fun stuff happen, you know? They wanna they wanna show that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not enough time. So, yeah. 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 So, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I definitely maybe wouldn't have used the, uh, the uniform dance shots. I, I can see how those would be like big tone shift. Right. Um, but some of the, the stuff in, in the, the costumes, like, you know, the, their, their kimonos or yukatas and stuff, I feel like work would have worked. Yeah. That one could have blended just me. smoother. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I, I like, I do like Change. the end where it's like, mm-hmm. You know, they're all tired and shit because they, they had a pillow fight all night. And it's like, oh, the mm. consequence. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. They're, they're, their hair is all fucked up. Like, where's hair and makes on, dude? <laughs> 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 He's just like, oh, shit. But yeah, Josh mentioned earlier that it would have been funnier if uh, everyone like was messing up the, the choreography except for the two who were, who were just chilling mm. the whole night, right? As a credits. And then if they interpreted it, like, you know, the, the other dancing inside of the music video, then the ending would have been funnier if it was just like them messing mm, up. Yeah. As like, like a compare and contrast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I, I can see that. Overall, still pretty enjoyable, though. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. These are just, it, it's not so much criticisms of it, but like what I would have done, right? We're yeah, nitpicking. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's, yeah. it's I mean, there's a, yeah, it's a distinction. It's, it's like, yeah. Hey difference between saying like oh this was bad because of this versus like mm-hmm. oh i maybe would have liked to have seen them try this right? yeah, yeah. yeah um it's critique so not let's uh just bad mouthing something yeah 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 um let's talk about the song we're giving ratings now and shit like that mm-hmm. uh, what do you guys think of out of the blue i'm going to give it an eight Okay. Okay. Uh, eight, yeah. Generally, as a as a song on its own, but I, I was leaning towards seven. But I I am just a sucker for uh, horns in my idol Ooh, music. Yeah. True. Um, I was True. already I was already vibing with the the you know little disco-y sound, but as soon as there was a brass section, I was like, mm, yes, mm-hmm. this 
this this speaks to James, dude. This this caters to his desires, yeah. to his wants and needs. I think I will also give it an eight. Um, oh, oh. Obviously, they're they're going off that IC style, and IC was my yes, favorite movie yes. song of 2020. So you know, more of it is good. So yeah, got the fanfare, the funk. Mm-hmm. It's a good time. Yeah. Well, uh, surprisingly, I am giving it also an eight. Oh. Yeah, I, I really like that. like the flow the song goes through. Like, it's a lot of high energy. But there's also like peaks and valleys. Usually, how I like in my in my songs, like there's a there's a point where it kind of breaks down, and you hear a little bit more of the vocals kind of singled out, and it just ramps up into the big chorus. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a really fun song and a fun listen. Yeah. What about the music video? Mm. What mm. would you rate this one? Also, an eight out of ten. Oh. Ooh. Uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I gen like I said, I genuinely laughed at the the beginning. Um, my I like the concept. I like the idea. Um, I, I feel like the execution was a little bit like uh, mm, actually yeah. I'm bumping this back down to a seven. <laughs> oh rip. Uh, okay, I, I really like it's like I as I was like about to explain myself, I kind of convinced myself down. You know <laughs> what I mean. Because it's like the entire, I think the entire last half drags, in my opinion. Because mm. you get the idea. You know what yeah. I mean? Okay, they're pillow fighting. So I would have liked some more uh, variation. Mm. Like I said, that big stretch of uh, slow motion, to me, just felt like they're like padding for time. Yeah, I can say that. You know, so um, that, that's my take on it. Um, it. It's a good concept. I just wished it was executed a little bit better. Mm. Mm. I will give it a, an eight. Oh, it's not it's like this boy down. <laughs> he's gonna be talking about. Ah, oh, never mind. You must. Like, yeah, I was thinking like a nine, but now that Jimmy <laughs> said that, <laughs> no, I'll give it an eight. It's it's fun. Um, there are parts where it, it seems like they are stretching for time, like the the TikTok part in the beginning is a little mm-hmm. long, you know. Yeah. Um, but I think overall. It's it's a good music video. There's a lot of good shots of the members, at least the ones who are featured the most. But yes. um, I really like the shot where Semi Ray goes through the wall, and then everybody <laughs> yeah, on the other yes. side, like on the other room, they turn around like, "Oh, what the fuck!" Holy shit! Dude. <laughs> and it's yeah, like yeah, these yeah, solo yeah, yeah. slow Should motion shots. Of, yeah, I think those are nice. It like pushes in right mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. when they're like yeah, they have these reactions. Those are nice mm-hmm. shots. Um, but yeah, giving giving it a solid eight right there. I was originally gonna give it a seven, but Jimmy convinced me down to a six. Oh, oh. shit! <laughs> it's the lowest, dude. What the heck? Um, wow. I, I'm, I'm looking at like other Nogi's like videos as like five being the standard. So this one, I feel like it's a little bit a smidge above the standard. You know, it's really fun and like there's a cool like theme to it and a cool ending. But again, some of the pacing is a little bit hit or miss for me the tiktok part as we mentioned before the whole arcade parts like i like that they went to the arcade to kind of like change the scene change it up a little bit but i feel like it's stuck on there for too long and they should have probably just included those dancing shots in there and i feel like it would have helped yeah. break it up a little maybe, more maybe they could have mm. raised the violence <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah that's you true know, so if, they, if they like did more effects with that that might have like mm-hmm. been enough of a change yeah, yeah. For it needed to more be, members more flying powerful. through the room uh-huh. Give me a little bit more Shaolin soccer, you know, escalate mm. it more. So yeah. you see, like, a, they throw a pillow so fast that it gets, like, catches on fire from the yeah, friction, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? And, like, <laughs> goofy moments. Like, like, I feel like if they had mm. more goofy moments in there, then I feel like it could have, like, really brought up, like, the level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, uh, <laughs> just, like, what if some, like, cocky got hit and her teeth just goes flying? <laughs> <laughs> no, then that would have that that brought it down to a three, dude. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that the music video needed more cocky, dude. I think that's why uh, it didn't mm. get higher for me. You know, she's kind uh, yeah, of there in the background. You know, surprising like, uh, omission of not a lot of cocky. Cocky's one of the front members. If you look at the dance shot or like the oh, choreography, mm-hmm. right? Um, so I don't know why she's not in the music video that much. It's a mm. damn shame, dude. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. There is a lot of Mayutan though, so I, I appreciate it. <laughs> 
Yeah. There's even like a bit huge slow mo bit with her in the arcade, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where she like Kaki, steps Kaki on top of the, so the machine. Mayutan can run, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kaki. She's doing it for me. Thank you. Oh. But uh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's out of the blue. Um, fourth gen Nogi. Hey. So now we oh. have five music videos from this single. No, oh. That's probably it, right? Wait, five? Yeah, you got These the main two, A side, the... Boku a Boku Skinny Naru, uh -huh. and then you got Wilderness. Wilderness Wild. Uh, Wilderness Wild. <laughs> yeah. <And then laughs> that's, right, the chat, that's the song name. <laughs> All right, and then we got the Hori solo. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That came out a while ago, yeah. That's why I forgot about yeah, it. Yeah, because that came out first. Yeah. Yeah. So I went back to watch it. I was like, oh, I appreciate this even more. <laughs> the Hori makes me It makes me sadder now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you When you know. When you know mm -hmm. what already happened, mm. so um, yeah, but, uh, that was all yeah, right. that's uh, that's it for the the music video. So far, <laughs> that's right? it. That's it. That's it. That's oh, all uh, the news, I guess, or oh. whatever things worth talking about this week. Um, I, I, we we stretched it out fairly decently. Yeah, I, I'd say. I think so. Yeah. I think <laughs> so. yeah. Um, Good job. But, uh, Good yeah, job. We're, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick break. And we're going to be uh, right back with uh, the comment of the week and the TV show Roundup. And we're back. Hey, you know what time it is. It's time for the highlighted comment of the week. It's everybody's favorite part of the show where Mr. Box goes back, picks a, a comment from uh, one of our, our, our more recent videos, something that speaks to him, something that's near and dear to his heart. Maybe we have a little discussion about it. Maybe we just say thank you. You never know what it is. It depends. Sometimes we just have a chuckle. But uh, Mr. Box, <laughs> take it away. All right. Um, this is from the last episode of the Slow Podcast. Ooh, ooh. And it's from Tamil K-popper, a frequent commenter. Thank ooh, you very thank much. Thank you for the comment, as always. And this is, wow, is this really the slow podcast? The PV released before the live stream? Head explode emoji. I hope this is a sign of good luck and it follows through to your Nogi meet and greet too. Thank oh. you for the kind wishes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you for wishing us the good luck to me with K-pop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Who, you know, and it carried on to this week's episode too, didn't it? Two. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Two music, music videos, videos again. Uh -huh. Dude. Ooh. Let's maybe go. here. Maybe new there's us, a chance. Dude. Let's yes. go. New year, new us, dude. We get the Daikichi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Nogi. Ooh. Nogi doing as a solid. Uh, let's mm. hope they keep on doing as a solid. <laughs> maybe yeah. next week they'll be like, oh. Gaijin okay, dude. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's not put our hopes up too high. <laughs> like, oh, damn, dude. Nogi Zaka is the best. Uh... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's 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 nice to get these videos before the actual podcast. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Um, yeah. Oh man, imagine if they if they put out the music videos after the podcast this week, dude. Uh. <laughs> All right, this week's episode, we got a cup star commercial. All right, that's it. See you guys next yeah. week. Yeah, imagine and they saved oh. us. They literally saved us this mm. this. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. This week. That's true. Movie Zaka. Thank you. Man. Everyone, Delivering. everyone, go tweet at them. Thank you for posting the music video before the slow podcast this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who? Yeah, let them, let them know we appreciate them, dude. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. Yeah, just Good like stuff. we appreciate that comment. Thank you. Yes, yeah. thank you very much. And yeah, if you guys want, uh, you know, uh, Josh to pick your comment, you got to leave one, dude. You miss 100% mm -hmm. of the shots you never shoot, dude. So, uh, true. We drop that comment, and uh, yeah, maybe your comment will be next week's highlighted comment of the week. But until then, let's move on to uh, the TV show roundup, shall we? It's a part mm -hmm. of the show where we cover uh, all the shows that the members have been on throughout the past week. Of course, that's the regular shows: Hinata Zaka de Aima Show, uh, Soko Magatara Sakura Zaka, and Nogi Zaka Koji Chu. Um, of course, we got some other appearances as well. Um, yeah, I see Ohatsu Chan on the on the list this week. This is all Josh. What happened? Take so, away, Josh. this is Matsuo Miu's episode. 
And Ooh. in this episode, we get to see her skills while jumping, but not any kind of jumping. Jump, it's jumping? jumping on trampolines. And, you know, you know those those jumping places that you go to. Tramp. You jump around. There's like basketball hoops and everything. She was one of those. I've never actually places. been to one, but you know, Ooh. always kind of wanted to. Mm-hmm. All right, nobody. Same, same. When everything is open, let's go. I'll show you guys the ropes. Slope. Ooh, Podcast at a trampoline place. Let's go. Ooh, low, go. low case shoot, dude. Uh huh. Mm. Trying to emulate this episode. <laughs> well, in this episode, <laughs> she wants to learn how to do a backflip. So she she goes in. You know, she starts jumping. She practices a couple times with the trainer. Trainer falls down a couple times, but you know it's totally fine. You know it happens. And then there's this one thing that she has to hit, and she's like, "Oh, I've never seen a girl like hit this." Like, oh. b- barely any guys hit this. And she goes, and she, like, gets so close to it, and then everyone's like, oh, what? She almost hit it. And, like and then at Renda, the trampoline place, they're like... Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, oh. <laughs> and then, they're, like, they're so excited. They're like, yo, you could try, like, three more times. Go for it. But she, she doesn't hit it at the end, unfortunately. She she gets really close, though. She gets really she close. She got close. Mm-hmm. And then Renda, the whole time, is just yelling, like, stop being good at everything. <laughs> <laughs> she feels... It. She she she's like, does a what is it, a a spring? What are they called? Ba- back handspring. Back handspring. Yeah, she does that, and then like everyone's like all surprised. Oh, you're already at that level. Okay. And oh, then, so, so she's, then she's got experience. Yeah, yeah. She she was in cheerleading, I think. Mmm, that makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> so then okay. she goes, cool. and then she practices the backflip with you know the guy you know helping, and then like she does it, and then she like lands it with the guy's help, and then Renda's like. What? How did you get that far already <laughs> at this level? So then, like, like the even the trainer's like, oh, oh, oh okay. So then she oh, does like, word. she does it like two more times, and then the trainer kind of like pretends to help, and then she like does it by herself. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, okay. <laughs> she's like, wait, did I do it? And they watch the replay, replay, and she's like, oh, I did do it. So then she does the back by herself again, and she's like, oh, I did it. And everyone's like, well, I guess you did it. What do we do for the rest of the episode? Oh, that so was like the beginning. <laughs> Damn! All the directors, <laughs> this fucking bitch, dude. <laughs> she do like a. She knew it. She want to show up. Report. <laughs> <laughs> so for the rest of the episode, they went indoor skydiving. Oh shit! They actually did something else. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then when I compare this episode to like something that like, let me see, what's a, what's a member that like, did almost nothing? Um, I don't watch this show that much, so I don't. Oh, like Kitagawa, the photography one, where they couldn't even bring um, in an instructor. <laughs> like that. When I compare these to them, I'm like, well, that's that's a big difference. In, <laughs> I don't know if it's like the choices they make or if it's, you know, how much yeah, budget they have know, for each Obviously, person. the member is the one who decides, right? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless they just get suggested of things. Like, oh, that uh, seems cool. Like Kitagawa, oh, sorry. Our budget only allowed a camera and like 30 minutes of one instructor telling you how to use plastic in front of the lens. The, the, the camera took all their budget, dude. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's okay. Well, Enjoy what? Oh, hats, mm-hmm. Chan. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's it. That's it. I didn't watch anything else aside from the three regular ones we watched. So let's go to Hina. I. Oh. Uh, we're Ooh. continuing with the cow battle. Um, New Year's, right? So, Kyonko. And Ushio are both born in the year of the cow. So they the group is split into those teams, right? Those each of them were captains. And so they're mm-hmm. doing battles to win points, which translate to grams of beef that they will uh, they, they can win in the end. Yeah, I like that <laughs> touch that they did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's still a New Year's thing, but they really like went for the cow thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh Continuing more games. The first game is the like find the Ushi because each team has a member with Ushi in the name, right? Obviously Ushio Sarina, mm-hmm. but they also have Kato U Shiho. <laughs> and so uh-huh. you know they gotta find the opposite uh member of the team. And it's like mm-hmm. uh, you know, they all wear cow cow masks and then mm-hmm. like act a certain way when the team asks for it, right? It's you know, it's like the Kiaki game, kinda. Right, where they like ask questions or like ask them to do something. Oh, yeah, and they're hidden behind with a voice. And they're hidden, right? And so 
from their actions, they gotta mm-hmm. determine who is the Ushi. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, f- yeah. I really enjoyed I feel this like segment. This was really funny, but I felt like it was really easy for the members because, like, there were five five uh, members that they had to mm-hmm. guess from, and they guessed each one, and it's like, mm-hmm. bruh. <laughs> uh-huh. It's like, oh yeah, number one's probably her. Uh, number three's probably this person, mm-hmm. and they were yeah, there all were few, right. For me, there were a few. There were a few outliers. Like, of course, like. Kato, because the way she stands, she stands like kind of like open, so you mm. kind of tell who she is. Komi, of course, you can tell who it is. It was like, like obvious when she came out. Even Audrey was like, <laughs> yeah, was like I don't, I don't even need to me. guess, <laughs> right? Mm. So maybe you know, if, mm. if they got, it was. But there were a couple a that were that were hard to tell for me at least. Right. I don't know if you guys thought the same. Same, like I mean, I couldn't pick out who's who. That was just. I thought. It's, uh, it's, I think for, it's more of like. Especially for those members, they know each yeah. other. You know? Yeah, they, yeah. Like they knew each other so well. I guess that uh, mm-hmm. you know, there was uh, easy peasy. You know, mm-hmm. because I they weren't trying to the... act like the person, right? They were kind of just like over there doing their own thing. Because yeah, they were know, just just Hinata Yeah, yeah, yeah. wild childs do. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But uh, I enjoyed the, the mixture with this I, game I and them being wild. I thought the like number two on the red team. I thought it was it was me pan, but then mm. at the same time, I didn't know. Who, Who's in what team? Yeah, yeah, me too. I was like, oh, it must be this person. Mm-hmm. Turns the camera. Oh, that person's <laughs> yeah, sitting like, there. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, oh, <never laughs> She's sitting right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That must be like three I times. Think, <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's Kumi. She's just like, hmm? yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that, that segment was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. And uh, they had the monoboke uh, part. Ooh. They had uh-huh. to make the opposite team's captain laugh. But then uh, Ushio's team also gets Kasuga. Uh-huh. Um, and then uh, in the end, it ends in a draw. Mm-hmm. So they, they like just got to pitch at like the cow, like for the cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? For the cut yeah, of yeah, meat. Yeah. What, what, yeah. Um, and so uh, Kyonko team Hot. has Yamaguchi. And I was yeah, like, okay. well... Hario with the you seen her dude. pitch? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it see, like, she made it look so easy, dude. Uh-huh. They got the ribeye, best cut. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, dude. I am so. also a ribeye fan, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, any highlights? Uh, I, I always love me some mono bokeh. Mm. Say. Kyoko's, Kyoko's team was strong. Like, they came like. Like three of them, and then like one of Ushio's team came on. It was just like so good. Yeah, mm. Kyonko's team lost that one though. Yeah, we... <laughs> is that what? Ushio did it... did like pull off like the serious face the whole time though, mm. or most of it. But yeah. yeah, my favorite part was the monoboki. Was just nice to see Kyonko laugh and not act <laughs> like some freaking <laughs> buriko shit, dude. Goddamn. <laughs> Boy's old feelings coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Take me back. No Buriko this episode. Uh, oh. I feel like Hinata Zaka like dialed onto the, the secret of of Monoboke. And it's like none of the things have to be particularly clever. I mean it's always a bonus when it is. Mm. But it's all about like the confidence when you, yeah, when you yeah. go out there, right? Yeah. Like I don't know, some of Kumi's was like not that funny. Mm. You know what I mean? There, like but a like, lot of them wasn't, but it was like, yeah. just, like if you see yeah. Nibu do a stupid joke, you're not laughing at like the joke. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at Nibu. Yeah. So, mm. there, there were some funny ones. Mm. Um, like, like, I feel like Kato Shiho is generally, she's got good comedic sense. Though, mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, a whole bunch of goofballs. The, huh? Just a whole bunch of goofballs in the group. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, enjoy. Yeah. Totally. Where's my other? Where's my my other sunglasses? Oh, oh my! <laughs> Whatever. When I choose the oh, Nibu, was which the, was like the fucking that was like the Goku Sen. Uh, yeah. The the young Kumi Monolani because she had like mm. this. Anyway, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So that was Hina Ai. Pretty funny episode. Uh, the the mm-hmm. past two weeks, this whole New Year's special thing was yeah. pretty good. Let's move on to the next show. Soko Magatara Sakurazaka. 
they're also continuing with the New Year's stuff. Uh, the members write down what they want as a prize, and so they compete for it. There was the member quiz where they had, um, I guess, like descriptions, right, of a certain member, and they had to guess who. Um, and then another game was the Omikuji stick thing, where you like it was like the hexagon box type thing, and they have to shake the, the little stick out of it. But if they get the wrong color, they have to drink the sour thingy or whatever. And then it like shifts to a completely different segment where members do a little showcase presentation to win beef and dessert. Mm. <laughs> and then it was it was Rena and Ozono for that. And both were pretty good. So any yeah, highlights yeah. from this episode? Mm. No. Oh yeah. Uh, I, 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 I have oh, one. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I think Rena was uh, really impressive. Like I wasn't yeah. expecting it. And then like when she stacked it, she, I, like, I, she yeah. was like with the suspense. Like oh wait. And then brings another cup. Adds it on top. She upped the oh. ante for the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will see the same. Because she looked really cute in that. I always thought. Oh yeah, like I agree. Yeah, yeah. Really pretty. You mm-hmm. Evan since the, the audition on showroom and shit. Number sixteen, let's go. Yeah, I, I remember your mad because he wasn't in Nogizaka. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, damn it. Uh, but yeah, I like how she was like, oh shit, I'm oh shit, I'm so nervous. But she does it anyway. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Let's go. She she knows how to up the stakes, dude. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. My so. thing, uh, I, I think I genuinely thought Ozono's uh little Owarai thing that she did was uh, really funny, right? Like, it was, like, I mean, obviously it's not her gag, but she wrote in, like, uh, you know, like, Sakura Zaka things, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I just wish she had a little bit more uh, spunk in her delivery, right? Because I feel that like she's, like, a little bit, like, not quite there. More I feel really like she's, like, little... super confident right in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, full confidence would have really sold it. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. for sure, yeah. Like her, like oh, you you wrote these all yourself, yeah. She's like, oh, uh, uh, the the staff did the Sawabe one. <laughs> They're like, oh, word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, also, Koike yeah. looked great this episode. By the way, just want to throw that out Koike. there. Yeah. Oh, She's sticking with the lighter hair, I like that. Mm-hmm. Appreciate mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, generally uh, worth watching. I think. Agreed, uh, agreed. They spent a lot of time on the member quiz, but I thought there was. If we did a, a member quiz, some good parts for for Slope Club, and chat was like doing a poll to see which one it was, you think they would do well or bad in guessing each of uh, us? Terrible. <laughs> yeah. But I don't. I don't think it's it's chat's fault. I, I feel like, uh, you know, it's like for for good not good reason, but it's just like it's a natural thing. They only see a very Ye. specific parts mm. you know okay. what i mean like they see an exaggerated our, one angle of our personality right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like uh it's like even us when we hang out doing the that's us okay. doing the same with sakura zaka members you know what i mean exactly yeah yeah, yeah, yeah exactly because yeah, yeah, yeah. like i don't know i i follow Z- sakura zaka but I, I couldn't get that shit dude you know i don't know who liked Mugi yeah, yeah. Cha, yeah you know <laughs> what i mean like some of the uh things were pretty interesting though uh, but, uh, anyway, yeah, that was a uh, Soko Saku. It's, it's it's it wasn't bad this week. I thought last week's was funnier. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I can see that. But uh, yeah, let's go to Nogi Chu. Also continuing from last week's New Year's battle thingy, but like they kind of cut it short. Uh, yeah. Since the twenty six single is coming out, so. They had to uh, squeeze part it of in. it. Yeah, they had to squeeze in this the the campaign for the week. But uh on the New Year's battle part, they did two more games. Um they mm-hmm. did like the, the, the thingy that's attached to the end, and they had to stack the mochi thingy. Uh that was pretty funny. Where Shitara had the uh, control. It was like, oh my B, I pressed it for everything. I kept pressing all? Yeah. My bad, dude. It's like, there's only three people left, dude. Just hit those three. Oh, okay. Word, word, word. Yeah. Oops, I hit all again, dude. And then uh, 
they had like a whole quiz section that they just skipped through. Um, mm. They showed like parts of it on the um, what's like that? a digest, right? Yeah, like going to commercial, coming back then. Mm-hmm. And then the final battle thing where they're on on the bringing back the classic, you know, no no yeah. flower or anything in the pit, but you know it's still funny watching them. You gotta save the fusore, you know. Last mm, time when that's they, true, did this, that's true. they changed to just the jerseys, right? Jerseys, yeah. But you know, you can't you can't have them damaging the Fui Sore. Mm. We need to find a place that does this because I I want a one v one Josh dude. One v one in what? Like the um thing at the end of Novichu where they, they were smacking each other, right? With the the, the giant Oh, the They do that at those jumping like, places too. Ooh, oh. let's go, dude. There we go. But yeah, this time it's like much bigger. Yeah, and yeah. go for the head, man. <laughs> Boo! Uh, for the head. Uh, and then of course, uh, they had Banana Man battle it mm-hmm. out at the end, just like last time. Because mm-hmm. uh, Himura's team won, but they were like, mm-hmm. "I want to see our captains compete." Mm-hmm. Right. And of course, uh, Himura loses. So. Yeah. Uh and then they switch to the um 26 single campaign which is basically just Yamashita like the the three front ones Yamashita, Ume and Kubo going to different shrines and seeing their fortunes or shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. So so they start at the the Nogi shrine, right? And they get their fortunes and like it's not that good and they're like, "Damn." We're not starting off pretty pretty good over here. What's what's up? Mm-hmm. But I think next episode you're just gonna go to a bunch of different shrines and see what's mm. what they get. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah. it's okay. The first part's fine with the yeah yeah battles, but yeah they had to fit this single campaign before the single actually comes out. So. Uh huh. Sorry, Chai got triggered by us saying fortune. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, let's um, yeah, talk about some highlights if you had any. I have two highlights for this one. Oh. Maybe someone will, will cover the second one. If not, I'll bring it up again. Uh, the hand shock. Just saying mm-hmm. like all of them, like, 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 like getting shocked. <laughs> At, even though like one of them or two of them or three of them are participating. Just like mm-hmm. Akimoto and like Mizuki were there on the side. And then Hori just yeah. crying the whole time. He's like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to take off one when he's not looking. <laughs> that was my favorite part. It's like, oh, mm. oh you got a, two, right, Hori? No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> just so crying. whenever there was a tie, right, when they, they stacked mm. the same number, like, oh, we'll go another round. And so Hori has already done two rounds, right, mm-hmm. uh, including the initial one with everyone. Mm-hmm. And so, mm. like, after the second round, like, we're going to go again. She, like, Pushes one off of hers. <laughs> Hori, you had uh, you had two. Uh, like, oh yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> no, no. no. But yeah, yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah. Poor Hori, dude. I I did not enjoy it. Like I, 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 I would enjoy, it, but just how much she was crying. I was like, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> stop Please it. stop. Dude. Leave her alone. That's why. That's why I know I don't have the strength to be a uh, 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 an MC on a idol variety mm. show, dude. My favoritism will come out so hard, dude. I'm like, mm. ah, no, it's fine. Look out. at Audrey, dude. No, no see, look, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm like the the one. What is it? He was a assistant producer or something on AK Bingo. What was he? Oh, With, um, uh, Inaba. Oh, what is Inaba? Yeah, Inaba. Right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd be like him. Like if I have a favorite member, I'd like make it, make it like make her react more and stuff like that by doing stuff. Uh, yeah, but I would. I I didn't. I wouldn't want her to cry though. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to go Hori crying because she the, the electric <laughs> shock hurts her, dude. You know, and like I don't yeah. think that the, the 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 shock was too strong or anything. I just think that like, you know, everyone has different pain tolerances, right? Mm. So so maybe her tolerance is just low, or maybe the other ones have higher. But I was just like, please <laughs> stop! Like it. getting stabbed on the arms. <laughs> stop! Uh, it. Mm. Um. But uh, yeah, that was uh, Nogi Chu. Pretty fun. But uh, I think the best show this week was probably Hina Ai because Monoboke is funny. Mm. Um, 
So <laughs> that does it for the TV show roundup. And you know what that means? It means that's it for this week's episode. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got lots of other videos coming down the pipeline. Um, hit that notification bell so you always know when a new video comes out. Or hey, follow us on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with us throughout the rest of the week. But that's going to be it from us this time. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.